One of the roles of a priest is to call our conscience to account. Particularly in confession, confession is the foundation of a life of inner struggle. It's a great tragedy that almost all Protestants have abandoned confession for a kind of general prayer. It's truly a loss to their spiritual lives. Because the nature of what we say in confession is unique. It is different to every other conversation we ever have. We almost always conceal our faults. We, we present our best face to the other. But in confession, we reveal the true depth of who we are. This is not easy, nor should it be. St. John Chrysostom says, we should rush to confession and hesitate when we sin. And he says, in reality, we often do the opposite. For many people, it takes great courage and preparation to be able to say in front of their priest all those things of which they're ashamed. Some people struggle for years in order to confess a particular thing. But once they've confessed it, they leave experiencing a great relief and a healing. So first of all, let us remember that it is our pride which the demons use to try and prevent us from making a full confession. But the shame we feel, the embarrassment of admitting how weak we've been, how far we've fallen, actually humbles us. It helps restore us to a condition where we're able to receive God's grace. Only when we've lifted this burden from ourselves through confession, in fact it is God who lifts it from us through his mercy and love, only then can we truly stand and begin once again to rise up after we've fallen. Let us remember the Lord forgives those who repent. When we confess our sins, God is near to us. The demons tremble when they see such humility, and our hearts are inclined to truth once more. It is a great help to think of our death and the judgment that will follow. It may come in an hour, later today, tomorrow, in six months or a year, but our death, it will come, and with God's help, we may be more ready. We must remind ourselves of the eternal reward awaiting us. How terrifying it is to think of dying without unburdening ourselves of the many sins we've committed, and how joyful it will be to die with a conscience cleansed by God's forgiveness. Christ entrusted this great responsibility to his church. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. The absolution we receive through our priest comes from Christ. When we leave confession, we do so knowing everything we have confessed has been forgiven. What a tragedy for those who have been told they need no such mystery. In our preparation, let us call to mind everything our conscience prompts. Let us review ourselves against the list of passions provided by the Church Fathers. If we need to write it down, then do so. I was once told by a monk from Mount Athos that this is how he prepared for confession, writing his sins down and holding on to this paper to prompt and remind him. But in our confession, we must avoid naming the sins of others or looking for excuses to explain away our sins. We must acknowledge with honesty our complete responsibility for the ways we've sinned. We should think about the sins we repeat, the inner inclination of our heart and how it leads us into sin. We must prepare and say our sins without thinking about the impression we're making on our confessor. 
the demons will tempt us into imagining how we are appearing to him and even try to get us to construct a confession that makes us look good but this is pride this is a sin the priest the confessor is praying with us everything he hears he knows will be forgiven all the selfish ways we've acted all the hurt we've brought to the lives of neighbors families and friends all the ingratitude we've shown to God the negligence and carelessness that has been our response to his love the excuses we've made for our sins and the ways we've embraced the world when it's laid before God in confession even in our weakness he may see a longing to change and so God renews us once more like the father embracing the prodigal son who has returned to him it is God's mercy and God's unchanging love for us that makes confession possible and so as St John says let us rush without hesitation to confess our sins and let us know the mercy love and forgiveness of our father through the prayers of St. John Chrysostom, the Theotokos and of all the saints. Almighty God, have mercy on us.